storage room. Like the tunnels are in loops. Given how difficult it is to dig tunnels, I don't really understand why they would have tunnels looping around and all redundant and unnecessary like that. Maybe later on in the game I'll need to run away from enemies. There's still some juice left, but I can't even switch them on. Huh. I still can't get past that shelf, the metal shelf. Apparently you just have to pull it. Uh, what's going on? Frame rate has dropped a little bit. Reams of wiring. Shoes. If this lighter wasn't empty, it would be a handy thing to have. Well, I'm sure we can do something about that. Is that a gun? Uh, if you take the weight out of the boxes, you can push the weight. Oh no, you can move the box and open the hatch. Apparently, giant spiders make him sad. Lighter and fuel equals fire. Well, that's... what is this? Oh, paint cans? I just heard something. I just heard a... Well, there's that. Maybe I can re uh, adjust the brightness if, or I can adjust the brightness in the video processing afterwards. What? You can look at it. Deeper into the rock, or some kind of basement. What can? Why is it when random whispering? That stuff. Boxes, barrels, spider webs. Not very big though. Okay, that was a big spider. Not huge, but uh, the screen's doing some funny things. Does this thing auto save or not? Well, I guess it does. There's no save game. A ladder. What am I meant to do with a... A ladder. Well, let's keep that in mind. There's a ladder here. Random gas. The spider is moving around over that way. That steam could blister the flesh from bone in an instant. I know I've seen it happen. Why would there be steam here? It might help with the spiders though. What's this? Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find, however the evidence against such a motive is insurmountable. I have no source of light, I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard a human voice outside. The spiders are so tasty. <laughs> I guess he's been eating the spiders. And it's going crazy. Day 100. 
from the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries which in the dark may amount to an illegible scroll. No, then I can read it quite well. Today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive. Oh no. And has swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could, be on I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails and I am never recovered, I hope at least that my study of and indeed involvement with these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. You're crazy. The greatest names in modern science got there through f f fluke than talent. More, f more through fluke than talent. I don't know about that, and it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I'm afraid you are lacking in talent, sir. Wait, I didn't finish. I only pray that the second rule deemed my, deems my breakthrough tr too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. For all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Funny. If it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say that it looks like eggshells. They're eggshells. Don't worry about that. Although they are apparently delicious. Ouch. Now the ground is shaking. Finally, this must be all that's left of the basement storage. That locks, looks rather worse for wear. Well, you know what happens to locks. Hammer time happens. Okay. What do we have in here? A chest? These chests must be quite common. Quite. What is that? Batteries. They have batteries down here. What the? I mean, first he talks about the paraffin lamps and say it must be old. Then there's working batteries that are compatible with my flashlight. Fluid lighter gas. Good. So which one is it? Is it old gas lamps or is it new batteries? Anyway, let's uh use that with that. This should fire up now. Good, good, let's start some fires, because what could possibly go wrong? There's still a spider unaccounted for, and I might die if I go looking for... Oh, wow. If I go looking for the spider. I see blood. I see a dead animal. That's not blood, that's a flare. Day one. Oh, I should have come here first. I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value. Despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous, my aim is to remain secure. Until what help? there may be arrives, and to that end I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. It's a mine, okay. It's a mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It almost certain, it's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here, and now 30 years on fate has struck again. Wait, you've been here 30 years? I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location, and hence busy themselves excavating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Wait, that wasn't, that wasn't done. 
Day 6, my first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. Huh. You're not very scientific, are you? My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both of those assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. Right. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid and I have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. Well, I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come but soon found myself in unf an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature, which seems to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beast. Ha. Huh. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time, I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Well, where are you? Within that area, I discovered the storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned, I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Nothing is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I did not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I... Ew. When I woke up this morning, ew, ew, and so my surprise has swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Well, they are delicious. Day 35, any non-venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By a lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a vi virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. Delicious. I intend to venture into the basement beneath the storeroom in the name of science huh. to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. This is a lot of reading, guys. I don't know if this is interesting. Day 50. For four days now, I have been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. I hope we don't meet this guy later on. Probably will, actually. For some time I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once 